Hey everybody, it's been a while. I figured I'd catch you up on what's happened over the past couple months. So thanks to everybody who helped uh, with my mission trip and their donations. I was able to go and it was super fantastic to do. So I got a little bit nervous because, you know, I was traveling on a plane by myself and everything, going to meet people I didn't know. But it turned out to be super fun because chiropractors are great people to get to know and we were just all focused there on our mission to serve you know this underserved population in the dominican and in haiti and it was so cool to see like a country so different from what i grew up in in canada or seeing in the u.s so we went to the dominican first and it was just like still a city still like paved roads still you know buildings maybe not as well maintained as we're used to but People were like stacked like seven people on a motorcycle or things like that to get around on the streets, which was weird. Um, and they of course weren't very well maintained. Uh, but we just set up our tables kind of along a street corner and we just were trying to get people to come in, like trying to say, hey, free help, because those were the words we picked up at the time. Um, and people would just come hop on our tables. And I had this really cool experience there where this guy, you know, was over just like super sore and gets on the table and it's like okay this is really different than my experience in student clinic how's this gonna go but you know what it went great I was a little worried because he you know was a little sore while we were doing some of the adjusting because you know chronic pain and then he gets up and he makes a face and it's a very like sour ouch face and then he goes taps the ground jumps up it was like smiling everywhere and it was like what? chiropractic it works and it was really interesting because we had a bunch of those cases where we had those chiropractic miracles we talk about now we've heard a couple discussions from dr heinz at our school here at palmer that there is no such thing as the chiropractic miracle but he's going on that fact of we expect people to get well with chiropractic and a miracle is something you don't expect so, wherever you sit on that debate, up to you. But it was like, what? This is so cool. It happened before my very eyes with one adjustment. And everybody had those experiences, which was awesome. Uh, we got to meet a bunch of kids at the orphanage that Cairo Missions um, runs as well. And they were just all super great, super happy. We just danced a whole lot with them. Um, also not the greatest dancer but I tried to pick up some of the moves um, not very successfully but that's all right um, and then we went over onto the Haiti side for the rest of our trip and that was really different I mean I've seen the pictures on TV of like Haiti after a hurricane or something but I didn't realize that was just kind of the state they lived in all of the time like there was this place called the mud village and it was just impoverished, like the streets were just dirt, the houses were all kind of down, falling apart, and the people were just not wealthy at all. The kids were just all in hand-me-down clothes, and there was even one boy that hopped on my table, and he didn't know there was a hole in his shorts. So I just, you know, quickly did his back and flipped him over, and he's just like, oh, all right. Um, but you know, people would lay their naked babies on our tables for us, um, things like that. Um, so that was really interesting and it was a really good thing that we were there to help. We brought smiles to people's faces, we helped them stand up straight, we um, I had this case of this girl who couldn't use one leg very well and she was just always limping around and when she got on the table and we were working on her, all of a sudden it was just like she got up and she could like start kind of using the leg, like not 100% but there was some use and she could like pick it up and bend her knee and things like that. So that was super cool. And one of my favorite things that happened in Haiti was there was a boy and he had, you know, an intellectual disability for sure, but we adjusted him and then he stayed and helped us for hours trying to coach people with like the Creole that they use um, in Haiti and would get people into positions for us or try to explain as we were doing it. And it was like fantastic to have him as our translator just kind of impromptu. And we didn't have anything really on us to give the kid as a thank you, but my partner from Palmer Shane, he had a cliff bar, so he gave him that. 
and he was just super happy to munch on that so that was super cool but I think seeing chiropractic in action outside of a clinic setting was a really good experience because I'm in clinic now we're in the outpatient clinic now I'm in ninth dry Woo! almost there February 2021 graduate and then this DC to be will be just a DC but um having this experience was so amazing and it just really changed how I feel about chiropractic because I've gotten to see the chiropractic miracle or not whichever way you go um, up close and personal and get to experience the things and get my hands on people I never would have seen otherwise so I definitely want to do this again when the COVID stuff's all over and you know we don't have to quarantine away from each other but yeah I still might need your help with that because you know student debts but we'll see how that goes um, but before I sign off for today I also wanted to take some time to make sure all of you are taking care of your mental health now I know people are calling this social distancing where we're staying six feet away from each other classes are online stuff like that but I don't want you to think of it as social distancing it's physical distancing Socially, we can still be connected. Socially, we can still talk to each other through internet things, through actual phone calls, with whatever means you have. Just because we can't see each other face to face or behind a mask doesn't mean that you're socially distant. I know a lot of people have gotten more sad. A lot of people have gotten more stressed. A lot of people are having a hard time with this kind of in-between world that we're living in with some classes online, some classes in person, but smaller and only working with one person instead of a whole group. So just make sure you're taking care of yourself. If you need help, if you need an ear, just let me know. Let the people around you know because we're here to help. We are a community and we can get through this together. I don't care where you stand on the whole COVID issue. It's tough for everybody, no matter what your stance is. So we're here. Here's a little virtual hug for you, and then I'm signing off, and we'll chat a little bit later.